Hi everyone, it's Nick here from Notero. Today I'm going to show you how to manage your templates within your account. The very first thing you need to do is be logged in as the admin and click on the gear or settings icon in the top right header and then simply click on templates. And you can see we have three types of templates. We have agreements, forms, and patient notifications. So let's take a look at agreements. So agreements, as it says here, are any statement or policy that a patient or client needs to accept. I have some already created. I have two consents and I have a privacy policy. Just some information like when it was created and if there's any requirements on that agreement. If I needed to add a new agreement, I would just click on this add new button here. And I have a drop down menu here. I can either edit or delete uh, my current agreements. So I just click the edit or, agreement, uh, edit or delete. So if I click into the edit, I can see that the name of the agreement was a consent and I have um, the agreement itself comes up and so it says I patient's first name and last name. These are variables that you can insert. So if I just click insert, I can insert in, in a variable at any point in the form that I'm building and it will display the home phone number or the work number or whatever variable you put into the form. And so this, for this example here, if the person's name is John Smith, it'll say I John Smith consent to treatment. And then we have some switches here on the form as well. If you require a signature, or if you require them to view it before they can agree, um, you can also toggle that on. So that's helpful to make sure that they read it over or they attempt to read it over. And so uh, that's what that toggle does. Let's go back to our template page. And then the next is we have forms. And forms, again, are organized in a similar uh, manner that the agreements were. It gives a name and some uh, information about the form itself. In this case, it shows that the form is locked. Once a form has been sent to a patient or a client, it becomes locked. And if you need to make any edits to that form, you'll need to duplicate it. And so you can make edits and then you'll disable this current form. So you keep your list clean and only the current forms that you're using. Uh, we have a drop down menu similar to the agreements and you can edit. You can duplicate it here or preview it or print or disable the form from the drop down. And we have an add new button. Uh, you can click, click on add new. There's a separate video on how to build forms. So it's a bit longer of a video and the information really can't be covered uh, in this video. So if you need to check out uh, how to build forms, just take a look at our form builder video. And the next section is the patient notifications. So these are all the notifications that are sent out on your behalf. So they look like they come from you. So if you click on any of them, so for example, a new appointment. So if I can click on this, I can see, again, there's that variable that we're, we used in our agreements. Um, so I have the clinic's name and then I've uh, built one of my notifications here. So you can customize the notification. It gives you an opportunity to personalize it because it does look like it comes from you and you can save it. So that's how you would edit uh, any of these notifications. You would just read the notifications on any of them that are being sent out on your behalf and we display what type of a notification it is. Okay, so that is the uh, template section. And at the very bottom, uh, there is this reply to. So if you are sending these notifications out and um, you want the patient or client to have the ability to reply to, um, uh, to the clinic, you would um, just put a uh, check in this box. Okay, so that also um, uh, allows them to reply. So it's at a no, rep so this way it's not set to a no reply and, and it eliminates some of the confusion when uh, people are viewing these agreements. So that's the template section. So thanks for watching and please click subscribe if you'd like to be notified as new videos are released.